I've tried to film this video about three times today and every single time I press record, I have been interrupted. Does my head look weird? Hello, how is it going? Today, I will be learning from modern day guitar legend, Tim Henson. Thumping is something that I've always looked at and been like, what the hell is that? But I want in, I want to be able to do it. It looks fun. So today is the day that I try to broaden my skill set and learn this technique, hopefully. Before you skip this part of the video because it's the beloved ad integration, don't, just hear me out because this is honestly so good. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I am genuinely sick to death of getting scam and spam emails and text messages. If I receive one more email telling me that I have won a Ninja Air Fryer, I'm actually going to scream. I don't know if you've ever had it where you've signed up to a free newsletter and then all of a sudden you start receiving loads of spam emails from unknown senders. The wonderful sponsor of today's video, Acogni, can get your personal data taken off the market so you can stop receiving those infuriating emails from companies that you haven't even subscribed to. They reach out to data brokers on your behalf and request removal of your personal data, dealing with all of the really messy, time-consuming things that you don't want to do. My favorite thing about it is how simple it is. You just submit all of your information and watch as Acogni does all of the hard work and they give you status updates on removal requests as well. So if you're sick of receiving junk emails and texts like I am and you want to protect your personal data a little bit more, go to acogni.com slash sophieb and use code sophieb for an exclusive offer of 60% off. That's acogni.com slash sophieb and use code sophieb or click the link in my description to take your personal data off the market. I realise that this comes across as an identical copy of Nick Nocturnal's video. Love you, Nick. I would have gone for something different, but Tim literally never uploads tutorials, so here we are. All right, let's, let's fucking do it then. I smell grass. Ah, oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, I probably don't need a pick, actually. It's so cool. That's cool as fuck. I want to be able to do that. Alright, I'm already lost. The fuck am I doing? I'm already lost. I don't have high hopes. Take your thumb, stick it straight out. You're then going to hover over the strings at about a 45 degree angle, and then you're going to drive your thumb straight through the string and land on the string directly below it. That doesn't work. It's actually really hard. Was that it? Oh, I've got it. I've got it, you guys. I missed it. That was shit. Disgusting. I decided to make myself a cheeky little protein shake and I sliced my thumb there very, very slightly. And it's just like getting caught in the strings and flapping around and it's honestly disgusting. I don't know if I'm doing this right. He says that you can tell where the thumb comes into contact with the strings because it goes red. And the only thing that's going red is this part of my finger. I don't even think it should be in the fucking equation right now. This is really hard. Unless it's the top string, I like can't get a sound out of the string very well. That sounds okay. And then. It doesn't sound the same. Stressed. If you ever find yourself feeling a little bit too confident with guitar and you need to find something that will humble you very fast, try this. Anyway, let's take a look at the left hand, shall we? <laughs> Not comfortable right now. This is my knee on my desk. And then I wonder why I have back pain when I sit like a fucking prawn all day long. Bye. Stop that shit. And that's going to be seven on the low E, nine on the knee. Back to this first. Hey! Achoo. We started on. Fuck. I already messed it up. I already can't remember it, so. <laughs> Fuck. Well, okay, I guess we can just try. I feel like he got it to sound really crispy and crunchy and like slappy and you could really hear the technique. And right now mine is kind of just like not defined. There's no 
if it was a shape, it would be a very loose shape, whereas Tim's is an extremely tight shape. I'll get it one day. This bit is hard, this change from back to that again because there aren't any fingers on the same string so you have to completely change your left hand. It just takes a bit of practice, doesn't it? What if I did it very slowly? Not good either, right? Fuck. So difficult. Again, 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 again. Yeah, that's hard. I need to spend more time actually getting to grips with the thumping technique itself, like finger picking stuff aside. This. I already think that's in a much better place than it was when I started learning how to do this technique though, for the beginning of this video. So I'm like very, very intrigued to see what happens if I continuously make an effort to practice this and actually progress with the technique itself. Like what would happen? Maybe one day I could do it and it would actually feel normal. <laughs> oh well, all fun and games, isn't it? Well, thanks for checking out this video. I hope that you guys found it very entertaining. I feel a bit frustrated, but at the same time, extremely motivated to get better at something that I'm not very good at right now. I feel like that is the most addictive thing about guitar for me. Like when I'm not good at something, I get really competitive and I wanna get better at it. So I'll leave you there. This is to be continued. So if you did like watching this video, please hit like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you would like to see me try and learn or play next. One more thing before I go. Oh, Christ on a bike. Bye. <laughs>